running a race with no established finish line. What in the world am I talking about today on The Daily Is Show? Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Ish Show, a show not just for rental housing providers, but anybody looking for more time wealth, more control on their calendar. Welcome to The Daily Ish Show. My name is Mark Dolfini, your coach for the next so eight or so minutes. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Yes, I have been. This has not been quite The Daily Ish Show. It's barely been The Weekly Ish Show. <laughs> I know it's been busy. It's been a busy couple of uh, busy couple of weeks, and that's going to continue on for a little bit, not super long. But the t- the topic today I'm going to talk about is would you run a marathon would you run a marathon with no established finish line? Well, what am I talking about with this? Well, first of all, who where are my runners out there? Do I have any runners? I don't know if there's any runners that are you know new marathon people that like to go out and run. I am not really a runner. I don't mind running, but I just I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have runner's legs like other people that just get into it. But, um, but I do like exercise. i like getting, I like being in shape and certainly running is, is good for that. But would you, if, even if you are a, an avid runner, would you agree to run a marathon with no established finish line? Well, it's interesting. I'm going to use this comparison to what Jen and I have been going through the last roughly three weeks, which is going to probably continue on for another three and a half weeks, four weeks. And that's been all this traveling that we've been doing. And really it, it, you know, first it started with a trip up to the folks at Rockford, Illinois, where we presented to, uh, to a group up there, RIA group and, uh, for a 90 minute and for, and told them about a two day event that I had up there. Right. So we, we were on the road there, turned around a couple of days later, went to a mastermind group that we belong to in St. Louis, turned right around the next, the following Monday, drove down to Tampa. We were down there for uh, about a week and then turned right around and went right back up to the two day event up in Rockford, Illinois. Now you're thinking like, holy crap, that's a lot of traveling. Yeah. Well, that's why I've been on doing the daily show. So thanks for your messages. I do appreciate your concern for us, but we were fine. We were doing good. You might be thinking, well, hold on a second there, coach. This doesn't sound like someone who's very time wealthy. You know, you sound like you're very time weary. Um, we are right now. And this is a little bit by design. So don't feel super bad for us. Um, it's been great and it's been amazing. And the fact that my bride gets to travel with me, we get to travel with each other and she gets to get all of her road rage exercise. You know, um, she, she could make that, she makes driving a contact sport, but, um, you know, Jen and I've been doing a lot of traveling and it's been very, it's been a little difficult trying to get all the, all the balls, keep all the balls in the air, you know, the different things that are going on. We've got, we've got children we've got pets and dogs and, of course, relationship with family, you know, family and, and things like that, that are, that are, of course, taking a back seat for right now, but that's not long-term right now. Why is that? Because we're not running a marathon with no established finish line. We're going to be done with all this running in the first week of November, right? Right in time for my birthday, by the way. <laughs> so we'll be done with all that running and, and that's by design. Like we know realistically we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing more two day events. I've got some more, I've got some virtual events coming up. I've got another event in, in, uh, in, in Indianapolis. I'm going to be hosting in person. And then I'm going to be at the national RIA, uh, the, the one in Ohio and I'll be speaking there. So I'll pretty much be done with all of that in that first week or second week of, of, uh, of November. So we do have an established finish line. That's, that is already been established because we have a vision for what it is that we're trying to accomplish. We want to take some time together off where we can travel with the kids when they go on break. We would want to take some time off with one another so we can have time with one another, right? That's by design. But when you don't have a vision for what it is that you're trying to accomplish, you just keep getting on, you get on the treadmill and you just keep going until basically you fall and then grind half your face off with the treadmill. That's not fun. That's not fun for anybody. So when I, in the context of what I'm talking about, would you run a marathon with no established finish line? That was me 10 years ago when I decided just to get on this, you know, this hustle kick where I was just running for the sake of running. 
Um, and when, I, when I'm talking about running, I'm talking about working. I'm talking about getting up at 5.30 in the morning, working from what my dad used to say, see to can't see, and you work from 5.30 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night and then do it all over again, right? That ma- that pace, that marathon is just, it. that's what just sucks the life out of you. And for what end? To do that six or seven days a week, right? So this is why it's really, really important, you know, that you take the time to stop and establish what it is that you're trying to accomplish in the first place in terms of vision. Now, the two day event that we just got done with was, um, it's based on the next book that I have coming out called the time wealthy advantage and the time wealthy advantage is really going to be about creating lasting change in your business and in your life. Well, why is that? Why would that matter? Well, because so many people focus on the business aspect and they think that their life is going to improve by having a better business. Well, your business is just an extension of you. So fundamentally, you know, when you're, when you're thinking about vision, I want you to think about it this way. You know, a lot of people in several people in the class were really struggling with who they were and they found out because they had all these limiting beliefs, like limiting beliefs and self-sabotaging behaviors, which, which reflect those limiting beliefs. So the self-sabotaging behaviors are actually pretty easy to see. The self-sabotaging behaviors are things like, well, you know, rescuing others. Do you have a need to rescue others? That's a self-sabotaging behavior, right? A hiding or hiding in activity, right? We oh, I'm super busy. Got to answer the phone. Got to go out there. Got to do the hustle. Got to do all this stuff or hiding in inactivity where there's so much to do. You don't even know where to get started. Um, Procrastinating, delaying, seeking perfection. Those are all self-sabotaging behaviors that happen because we have limiting beliefs. So these people who are really struggling, you know, they they feel like, well, if I get my business figured out, then my life will get more in order. Well, it doesn't work that way. It actually works in reverse. Once you get your life in order, your the extension of your life, which is your business, that can get in order too. So, you know, um, you, you have to focus on, you have to focus on the, on the core and, 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 you know, get your programming, right. Get your, get your base program, right. And I've noticed that once you have a better, once you have a better understanding of where you want to go, you'll have a much clearer understanding of who you are. And I think that is the approach that, that, that people should take at least in it. And it worked for me. It may be different for you. And, but I can tell you that a lot of my coaching clients, once they have a better understanding of where they wanted to go, then they really understood who they were and why it was they wanted to do those things and to set aside those self-sabotaging behaviors and those limiting beliefs that were actually holding them back. So something to consider for, for you. All right. Well, that is all I have for today, folks. Um, I'm going to cut out of here a little bit earlier today. Um, after this, I'm going to head to the grocery store and I guess it's spaghetti night. So I got to get some, I got to get some fixings for that. Anyway, please be sure to place a value on your free time because if you don't, someone else will, but no, there is no amount of money that will make time irrelevant. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time.